How do you find the exact midway points of a clip and cut it perfectly in half in Premiere Pro? I thought this was an interesting question I received on my Instagram, and there's a lot we can learn about frames and navigating the timeline in answering this. So if you ever have a clip on the timeline, you can see on the top here and in this corner section what position your playhead is currently at. So right now we're at 10 seconds and then an amount of frames afterwards. If I click on this clip and open up the info tab, you can also see the start point, the end point, and the total duration of this clip, and some other information about it, like its frames per second and whatnot. So if I move it around the timeline, you'll see the start and end point change, but the duration is always the same. So it's 11 seconds and 16 frames. Now, if I right click on this in my timeline, I can change it from being a frames per second and time code and I can change it to just frames. It'll be easier to do the math this way. So in this case, we know that this clip lasts 291 frames, and all we have to do to find the middle is divide that number by two and go to that point. So 291 divided by two, you'll see is an uneven number, 145.5. And that brings in another point because every clip has its own frames per second, uh, that you're just not going to be able to divide an odd number evenly. You cannot cut smaller than one frame in Premiere Pro. But in this case, if I wanted to cut in half, I can just go to frame 145 or 146. We kind of have to choose, and I can zoom in or out as much as I want, and cut that clip. So this is the middle point of this clip, and another way to check that is if I drag this on top and move it over you see that they basically are aligned. This one is just one frame longer because it's just an odd clip with, with one frame odd. And I can actually move my arrow keys left and right to move one frame at a time. And if you really just wanted to force them to be even, you could just shave that one last frame off the end and make it an even framed clip by shaving one frame off the beginning or the end. Another quick tip, just as a side note, is if you ever want to make see if you're really at the end or beginning of a clip, you see this little white triangular cap at the end? That lets you know that you're really at the end of a clip, and if it doesn't have that, then you know you have room to extend out or not. So you cannot cut this clip perfectly in half because it's an odd number of frames, but you basically can cut it in half in this way. Another trick that you can do if you don't want to do the math is you can simply duplicate the clip. So I'm gonna hold Option, drag it on top of itself, and right click, change the speed and duration to 200%. And that'll just basically make this two times faster. And then I can simply use this clip as a reference point, you know, press up on my timeline, make sure that this V2 is active tar track targeting by highlighting it blue there, and I can press the up or down arrow key to head to that cut, and then press C on my keyboard or grab my razor tool, and I can cut my original clip and then just delete that kind of reference we made. So again, in this case, we've cut it at frame 145 or 146 using that method as well. So really just simple math, dividing by two, understanding that you're working in seconds and frames based on some clips are shot 25 frames per second, some clips are shot 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. So whatever your sequence is in, remember that that is what the seconds and frames are and basically finding the midpoint of those two numbers. So hopefully you paid attention in math class. There's a little bit of math involved, but you can always just use your calculator and find the, the exact midpoint of a clip. I'm not really sure too many times when you'd like need to know the exact midpoint, but if for some reason you wanted a certain text or effect or call to action to happen exactly in the middle, this might help you. And in general, it just helps to understand how the sequence and frames work. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out a lot more in the playlist on my channel. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm very easy to reach on there if you have a question. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Justin Odisho, and I'll see you in the next video.